many commodities have remained inflated. Any monetary missteps, coupled with continuing issues with many raw materials, such as oil, could send CPI screaming in 2024. Speaking of commodities, perhaps one of the most interesting call-out for a major rally in 2023 was in gold. Here we are, over 2,000, and although gold has not doubled in price, it did rise by 25%. So, I had a chat with Matt Caruso, pro trader and the founder of Caruso Insights, and Mish Schneider, chief strategist at Market Gauge, around if they expect the price of heavy metals to continue to rise in the new year. I think gold has been under pressure for a few years. If we take a look at uh, gold itself, as a result, uh, we, we can see we've been around $2,000. We're not necessarily much lower, but this is not significantly higher despite inflation because the Fed had raised interest rates so aggressively, they brought real rates into the market. I think that starts to go the other way. Real rates, when you look at interest rates adjusted for inflation, are gonna be falling into 2024. I think that will finally support gold to break away from this 2000 price level. I think the kind of highest torque way, the, the most aggressive way to play this would be through silver. If we take a look at the silver ETF, you can see this is way off of its highs. And I think the most aggressive way to play this would be through a silver junior stock ETF, which is still way off of where it was even in 2020, 2021. So I think this is just a very good asymmetric setup. There is plenty of upside with, I think, what is minimal downside, given that this is still a depressed asset. Coming out of what I think is tax loss season here in December, I think these were probably the lows for the year and we advanced from here. So we are still very much interested in gold and silver, precious metals. And as a result, with this year ending into resistance, that 2000 level in gold, around $25 an ounce in silver, we see a great potential there. We also see the potential for a Fed misstep, even though they haven't actually said they're going to lower rates. Obviously, the market is anticipating that. And if we get into any of these geopolitical situations, that does indeed impact the U.S. economy, especially in an election year, any misstep by the Fed in terms of reducing the interest rates could also be dangerous. So that's why we like the metals.